Welcome to Google Sheets Basics 1. In this video, we will create a new spreadsheet, type text, add and rename spreadsheets, and search for text within a spreadsheet. Getting started with Google Sheets is fairly simple. First, you'll need to go to drive.google.com, and then you will need to click New, and you'll see that Google Sheets is one of the options. Clicking on it will open another tab with your spreadsheet. First, I'm going to title my spreadsheet by clicking in the box and giving it a title. I'm going to call mine Sample Spreadsheet. Now, adding text into a spreadsheet is fairly simple. You click in the box that you would like. For example, I'm going into here to column A1, okay, or box A1, and I'm going to type in the word test. Pushing enter will cause me to go down the line, and I can add in information like this. Okay. If I need to go across instead, I can push the tab and it will take me across, which is a shortcut. So if you need to add a lot of data across columns, that's a fast way to do so. If you need to fill sequentially, for example, if you were putting in numbers such as 45, 46, 47, 48, if you put a few copies of those numbers in and then select them, then drag by this little square right here. If you click on it and drag down, the spreadsheet will automatically add the next information that it finds that it thinks that you would like. So for in this instance, I have done sequential numbers. If I copied this text, I could grab and it will copy the word test all the way down. So it's a quick way to fill if you need to fill in and that will also work across columns if you need to do that. To create another sheet within this spreadsheet, for right now you'll see I have one sheet that's called Sheet 1, which by pushing this down arrow I can duplicate, copy, rename, change the color of, or protect. You can also push plus sign to add another sheet. So see now I have Sheet 1, Sheet 2. So I'll add a few more sheets. You'll see that you can drag them to change their order, and you can click the little down arrow to rename them. So I'll name these with some names of people. By just clicking rename. And you'll see again, you can just reorder them in whatever order that suits your needs. So sheet one is right now where I have all of my information, but I'll put in a little bit of other information in here. I'm just going to give some numbers. Okay. And I'll, maybe on this page, I will go through here and I'll put in some other information. Okay, now right now I'm just typing in some random words to give us some test information for sheet one and then on my Tim sheet and my Susie sheet. So if I would like to find a piece of information within this, I know I typed in the word test, but I can't remember which sheet that it's actually on and maybe I have 20 or 30 sheets and I don't want to hunt through to find it. Choosing control F will cause a find box to pop up here. Now, if you search right here, it's going, like if I search for the word red, it's going to highlight the word red on this particular sheet. But the word I'm looking for is test. It's not on this sheet. So you'll see it says zero of zero. By clicking these ellipses, I can hit find because it's going to search all of the sheets in this particular spreadsheet. And I'll find the word test located right here. If you are using Google Sheets to maintain records of iPads or iPad serial numbers, this can be a particularly effective way to locate the iPad that you are looking for. That was Google Sheets Basics 1. Thank you for watching, and please be sure to check out our other videos on Google Sheets.